How to Properly Water Your Laurels. This photograph shows a laurel that has been stressed by a lack of water. This laurel has passed its wilting point, a point at which it will not recover well from the stresses that it has undergone. This photograph shows two laurels. The one on the left is properly cared for and watered. The one on the right is showing stress signs that it needs to be watered. The first signs of stress in a laurel is usually a wilting of the lower foliage. Notice the colors between the two laurels are almost identical. This is because the laurel that is stressed has not reached its wilting point, and if water is added soon, it will revert to a nice, upright, and erect posture of the leaves. So color alone is not a good determinant factor for whether these plants are stressed. The reason this laurel got stressed in our nursery was that the water line leading to it, the feeder line that we used to water it, became disconnected. So all we had to do was reconnect it and start hydrating the plant again. The best method to determine whether a plant is dry is not watching the foliage drop, because you don't want that to occur, is using your finger to feel the root mass and see if it's moist. It should always be moist, not wet and not dry. If you overwater the plant, that can also be detrimental to its health. Overwatering will cause the roots to starve for oxygen. So that can be a stress factor as well. So be careful you don't overwater. Just try and maintain the plant at a situation where the root mass is moist, not wet, and not dry. Just because it's raining doesn't mean that the plant will get adequate moisture. When it rains, the foliage can trap moisture and keep the moisture from reaching the root mass. Additionally, the foliage can drop water off the foliage away from the root ball, and therefore the plant does not get the moisture it needs. The surrounding area may be moist, but not the root ball. A few months after a plant has been transplanted, it should be growing new roots. As it grows new roots and new roots are put into the surrounding soils, your watering and monitoring of the watering needs for the plant will go down. But don't forget, plants can even dry out in the winter. So the first year after transplanting a laurel, make sure that the plant stays moist during cold weather as well. The best idea for how to do that is this. If it has gone up outside in temperature above freezing, it's time to check your laurels for the moisture at the root mass. Just again, use your finger. Your finger can tell the score. Touch it, see if it's moist or dry. If it's moist, you're okay. If it's dry, you need to add a little moisture. But don't add it if the ground is frozen. It likely will freeze on the surface of the ground and prevent oxygen from getting to the roots. Make sure that when you add water that it can go and soak into the root mass, not just float on top of the ground. These tips can help you raise a healthy, vibrant laurel. If you have any questions about watering, give us a call at 215-651-8329. We deliver and plant lots of skip laurels and other screen and hedging plants to the eastern U.S. states. 
Again, this is Highland Hill Farm, hoping you have a successful time transplanting and maintaining quality plants in your landscape. This is a view of some of the many trees we stock at Highland Hill Farm. We can ship to you on our trucks by tractor trailer or at certain times of the year many of these plants can be sent by UPS. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for trees and shrubs.